Bagpipes, corned beef, and a whole lot of Irish pride. All part of St. Patrick's Day celebrations here in our area and across the country. Of course, the biggest and oldest parade happens in Midtown Manhattan. And among the legions of spectators along the parade route was Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman. Marisol Rivera was more than ready for New York City's annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. I put a lot of necklaces on and yeah, I just really wanted to be festive. And she's not alone. The parade made its way up a very green Fifth Avenue Saturday with Grand Marshal Margaret Timoney leading the way. She's the president and CEO of Heineken USA. Also taking part, Governor Kathy Hochul and Mayor Eric Adams, along with 150,000 other marchers, piping bands, and uniformed services. For this family, there was one big reason to watch. My daddy's here. We're so proud to see him. It's a beautiful day, he does it every year, and his daughter's here to see him this year, so it's a big deal for us. And for Tracy Jones, she may not be Irish, but her birthday was a cause to celebrate. It's amazing. amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I can't explain how great it is to see so many people in green, so many people out selling St. Patrick's Day, celebrating St. Patrick's Day. So it's, it's very exciting. This is the 263rd year of this parade, making it not just the oldest St. Patrick's Day parade in America, but the oldest one in the world and the largest. Which is exactly why these two traveled from Ireland to take part. I'm so delighted to be here. I'm delighted to be here. And they plan to keep the celebration going all day and night. It'd be a bit wobbly around 12 or 4 in the morning. <laughs> a fun and festive day with nearly 2 million lining the parade route, honoring Irish pride. On Fifth Avenue, Lindsay Tuckman, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.